Hello everybody, it's Niklas and welcome to this new video on Pencil 2D. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can import an image with Sci Image, use image. If you like my video, don't hesitate, you can subscribe to my YouTube channels. And if you want to learn more about Pencil 2D, if you want to have a complete course, Everything is on the first link on the description and you can take a glance to the model and the session of this course. So let's start on how to import image. First, you need to position on a bitmap layer because when you import image, you need to work on bitmap layer. So I'm going to select file, just go on import image and thanks to that, you can select the folder on your computer and the first thing that I'm going to do is to select this image room and I can click on open just like this. You can choose center of camera, you can change but generally center of camera is good, you validate, you zoom little out and you can see your image. To resize, I can advise you to click on edit, select all and thanks to that you can resize using, uh, if you use the move tool just like this, you are going to resize and you can make some transformation just like that. And if, if then you press, uh, if you want to resize here, I resize non-proportionally, but you can press shift if you want to keep the proportionality. And then the thing that you can do is just to press enter and take a glance, I resize my picture just like that. So this is the first thing that you can do. You can also create cut, so it means I can use my select tool. And for example, I can go left click on this area. And then if I use my move tool, I can move this part and I can press delete on my keyboard. If I want to import another image, I can, uh, let's select this image again. I'm going to remove that and it's okay. Now I click plus again, layer, new bitmap layer. Now I'm going to go on file, import image and select the image with the robot. Just click on open center of camera. Then I need to resize. So I use first edit, select all or control A. And with your move tool, selection tool, you can decrease the size with shift if you want to keep the proportionality. And when you finish your work, you just press enter on the keyboard. Why it's useful? Because you can use this base as a drawing. Take an example, you can click on plus, create a new bitmap layer, just like this. And on this bitmap layer, I can, for example, take one of these tools. Why not the brush tool, decrease the wide. And I can just use this to, uh, for example, draw a part of the robot here. What I'm doing, it's fast but it just to show you, you can use an image and then you can draw on the image. Uh, I think I'm going to um, come back a little bit. Yes, just like this. And yes, you can do this type of work. Here I decrease, um, I remove the image and you can just use this as a base. And here I'm going to continue, but it was just to show you that you can use this as a base. So this is how you can import an image each time you go on file, import image, just like this. Um, now I'm going to just erase the content on this area. Uh, I think I move my, yes, my image on the two, on the frame two. So this is the reason for which I had this render. And I just move my image on the frame number two. Uh, I can click here, edit, cut, uh, edit first, select all, edit, cut, and go on the frame one edit and past yes recuperate my image because yes it was strange just some manipulation and yes i can make something like this here so the aim is just you can use one of the image to draw something it just what I want to show you. And when you finish, for example, your work, you can just use your image layer and you can remove that just like that. After some time, it's not re each time convenient because um, you need to be careful about what type of layer you work. So this is something uh, just that you need to know. 
just going to erase the content. So we are going to stop here. This is how you can import an image in Pencil 2D. If you like this video, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you want to learn more, everything will be on the first link on the description. Complete course, I show you in detail the tools, the timeline, the frames, uh, the colors, and also how you create some uh, animation, different type of animation. First link on the description for the next video. See you. Ciao, ciao.